Hello dear students, welcome to learning chemistry is easy and fun. Continuing with our topic on oxidation and reduction, we move to the next leg of this topic and that is ionic equations and how we can balance them. In fact, this method can be used to balance any molecular equation also and we will have two additional steps in that, that's all. So I am taking a very very simple equation over here, Zn plus HCl gives you ZnCl2 plus hydrogen. Now before I put this 2 over here, this equation is in an unbalanced form. Unbalanced means when the number of elements or atoms on each side are not equal. So when we have zinc 1, there is one atom of zinc over here. Hydrogen is 1. Whereas on the right hand side, hydrogen is 2. According to the law of conservation of mass, we can neither create mass nor can we destroy it. It only changes its form. So we need to balance these equations. In order to balance this equation, now the simple methodology that you have been using as a beginner was to see which of the atoms are unbalanced and to put the coefficient. Now as you go to higher level, you will find that it is not as simple as that and especially when you have ionic equations where you have the charges or the oxidation state written on top of the element because that time in order to follow the law of conservation of mass, you also need to be careful about the charges or the number of electrons involved on both sides. If you see this particular equation, Zn plus HCl gives you ZnCl2 plus hydrogen. Let me try and write the charges or the oxidation states more specifically. Let me write the oxidation state of each element on top. Now zinc, again we, we shall go back to the rules that we have done under the heading oxidation number. It's an element, zinc, oxidation state 0. Hydrogen, oxidation state plus 1. Chloride, oxidation state minus 1. Zinc chloride, now here zinc is in a combined state, oxidation state plus 2. Chloride, minus 1. Hydrogen, again uncombined state, oxidation state is 0. Zinc Zn0 is changing to Zn2 positive. That means oxidation number is increasing. Oxidation number increases is absolutely right. From the previous video, we have learned that oxidation number increases means it's a process involving oxidation. Come to the second case. H positive changing to H0. So the oxidation state is changing from plus 1 to 0. So what is happening over here? The oxidation number, yes, decreases. It reduces. So reduces means reduction. So H positive changing to H2. So what have we got in this equation which appears a very simple one is again a redox reaction where what is happening is oxidation and reduction is taking place simultaneously. How do we balance ionic equations? We shall be doing two methods in order to do so. Half equation method also called as the ion electron method or the half reaction method. The other is the oxidation number method. Now before I go on to explain these methods, an earnest, earnest request. Please, just don't sit and watch the video. Get a pen and paper ready because you shall be doing the equation simultaneously and embedding the idea permanently. Believe me, once you've understood the method, the steps that I will give you, you will not feel the need to open your textbook again at all in order to do this balancing. You'll be able to teach it to anybody. I'm very confident about that. So earnest request, please pause the video, get a pen and paper ready and continue further on from here. Balancing of 
a chemical equation or an ionic equation by any of these methods involves certain steps. The first step is to write the oxidation numbers of the elements on the top in the equation which is provided to you. Now, if you see, we've already done the first step, right? We've already written the oxidation numbers on the top. Step two, determine the oxidized and the reduced element. That also we've done. Zinc is getting oxidized, hydrogen is getting reduced. Step three is to balance. Now, in order to balance, what we will do is we will follow the EOH rule. What is EOH rule? No, no, no. There's no IUPAC rule as such. It is a simple mnemonics that I have given over here. E for other elements, O for oxygen, H for hydrogen. We'll first balance other elements, elements which are other than oxygen and hydrogen. Then we go on to balance oxygen and finally we will balance hydrogen. Whether you follow the half equation method or the oxidation number method, the steps remain the same. Only thing is how you approach each of the balancing after when you balance the other elements how do you do that only slight variation will be there in the two methods otherwise the basic principle remains the same for this equation the balancing is very very simple because zinc and zinc is already balanced so my e is already balanced there is no oxygen in this there is no hydrogen over here so we will simply go on to step four and that step four would be to equalize the electrons right or we can also say the charge on each side so what we've got over here is zn changing to zn2 positive that means in the event it loses two electrons Coming to reduction, H positive changing to H2, that means in the event it gains two electrons. So this equation is as simple as that. So my final ionic equation. You see over here, the number of electrons lost in oxidation is equals to the number of electrons gained in reduction. So they nullify. One is losing, the other is gaining. So there are no electrons left. And my final equation simply boils down to Zn plus 2H positive changes to Zn2 positive plus H2. Don't worry, I won't stop at such simple equations. We shall be moving on to the next level, a little more complex level and doing the first method of balancing that is the half equation method. Please get your pen and paper ready when, while we go on to the half equation method also called as the iron electron method or the half reaction method.